Is we often like to focus on the heroes and the helpers, the people who are going to extraordinary lengths to uh, to help others during the coronavirus pandemic. Well, we're going to go onto the podium and introduce you to uh, two sisters who are doing just that, Brittany and Heather McLean. You know how popular swimming is at the Olympic events. You'll probably recognize their names from Olympics past 2012 in London, 2016 in Rio. They're no longer swimming for Canada's team. They're involved in national uh, different careers. And you're going to see, there they are there. Uh, we, on the left, you have Brittany, who's a member of the COC, the Canadian Olympic Committee. And there is Heather on the right, who is a frontline health care worker, a nurse at Mount Sinai Hospital in Toronto. Which brings it all together to talk about what they're doing during the pandemic crisis, the campaign that Olympians are involved in, and specifically what Heather's doing on her day to day. So look who's with us this morning. Brittany and Heather in Toronto. Good to see you. Brittany's on the left. Hi, Brittany. Hello. Good morning. Heather's on the right. Hi, Heather. Good morning, Heather. Heather's in the house this morning. But look, I, you can can you see what your sister's doing, Heather? Because I think she's in her your room. She's yeah. in your room. Because <laughs> Brittany, you're sneaking it's in. It's my new office. It's your new office. Uh, it's so great to have you on the program, ladies. Thank you for giving some time to us. I want to talk a little bit about uh, what you are doing and the campaign. Because you're right in front of it, Brittany, why don't we start with you? What's the We Are All Team Canada all about? Yeah, so we're gathering a nation from athletes to frontline workers to communities that are staying home and following all the guidelines possible, uh, people that can't be with their loved ones. It's a way to encourage one another. It's a way to support one another. Um, and I'm the loudest cheerer on the pool deck, so it's my way of cheering on my community and supporting all those that we can't necessarily see right now. <laughs> so it's been, it's been really special. Um, we've had a lot of athletes engage. And I think it's this positive push in the right direction that we all need right now. Isn't that fantastic? And you have someone to cheer for who's right within the family. Heather, tell me a little bit about what it's like for you in your day-to-day -day at Mount Sinai. Um, yeah, I think I work in labor and delivery, so babies, you know, don't know that there's a pandemic going on and they have an eviction in their mommy's tummy. So we're still running at full capacity in terms of our labor and delivery process. Um, I think especially at first it was very nerve wracking with all the new policies and procedures. And there's definitely just a sense of, you know, a lot of unknown things that are happening in the hospital. But, um, you know, we've been able to stay safe and uh give our patients the best care that we can during these scary times. If we can just go back to that picture of you in full PPE, as you said, it's not normal. You're not dealing directly with COVID-19 patients, but it's obviously affected your day to day and just how you go about your normal job. Right. Yeah, for sure. I mean, pregnant women can be COVID positive as well. And so we have to take all the precautions that are necessary to keep us um, and our communities and the patients all safe. And, and is it, I mean, you're in the happiest of departments usually, you know, you're in the good news of, of new babies and everything. But at the same time, it must be a worrisome time to be giving birth in the time of the pandemic. Um, I mean, has it has it changed the tone or are people afraid and when they should be joyous? Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely a sense of fear. Um, childbirth for especially first time parents is quite anxiety provoking to begin with. And so I think this is just an added layer and it just makes our job that much more important to offer support and comfort and guidance um, during these uh, scary and unprecedented times. Um, so yeah, I think they are, and there's an additional layer of fear there. For sure. Well, listen, uh, congratulations on all the work that you're doing to keep everybody safe at this time. And Brittany, tell me what it's like. I mean, you, you are, you're saluting everyone in the country, but you're seeing right within the family uh, the sacrifices frontline workers are making. What do you think of what your sister's doing? Uh, it's incredible. And she's so very humble. But the first thing she'll tell you is this is my job and I'm just going in every day to do what I'm supposed to do. Um, I definitely, I feel for her because I know part of her job is so related to making connections with her patients and something that she has to struggle with a bit now because she's in full gear. Um, but I know that she has an, an incredible ability to make people feel safe and make people feel like they're in good hands. So I know that the hospital is in better hands having Heather in there. And um, I know she's doing everything she can to stay safe. 
And I also know that she feels safe going into work every day. And for me, that's the most important thing um, that she feels like she's being taken care of. Probably not just the most important thing for you, but the, uh, for the rest of your family, too, because Heather's a soldiering on on her own. But Brittany, you went home, didn't you? You're quarantining in the family home? Yes. Uh, we're only a couple minutes away. Heather also lives down the street. So um, we are able to uh, find creative ways to still connect with one another. <laughs> Um, I came home right away, but we play games virtually, or we'll have a chat on the front lawn from afar and wave. But we've made we've made it creative ways to uh, still get support from one another. As households are doing right across the country, you're uh, living that even as you're involved in various aspects of uh, of life in coronavirus pandemic land. Uh, and of course, now she's moved into your room, Heather. So this is all <laughs> changing. Since we have you both together, and since we're talking about Mother's Day today uh, and how you're celebrating your mom uh, at a time of social distancing when you can't really, I mean, Brittany, it'll be a little bit different for you because you're at home, but we can't really be with our moms in the same way for Mother's Day. But Mom Michelle from somewhere in the house is watching, I know. Why don't you two uh, take a little moment to, to talk about the influence she's had on your life and, and pay tribute to her and how you're going to be celebrating her on Sunday. You start, Heather. Um, I think I know my mom knows that she's my best friend and that I wouldn't have been able to get anywhere I have gotten um, without her. And so thankful for her this Mother's Day even more. Um, and I'll be sending her lots of big virtual hugs and uh, hopefully we can get together for a real hug soon. But I love you and uh, I appreciate all that you've done for us. And Brittany, she's not there, so you can, you can, she's in a different room. Feel free to go ahead. You can wax on as well. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, echo what Heather said. We owe so much to both our parents, but um, they've supported us through everything in our swimming career and beyond. And um, they believe in everything we'd want to do. And we've had unlimited love in our life, and we're very grateful for that. But yeah, I just want my mom to. Hopefully be able to relax this Sunday, um, like to cook her a meal. I'm not the best chef, so we'll see how that goes. Hmm. And um, just have a lot of laughs around our household. Gold medal conversation with both of you. Thank you both for the time and for sharing what you're doing during the pandemic and how you're helping in different ways. And what a lovely tribute to your mom, Michelle. She has two special daughters. Thank you so much, Heather and Brittany. Thank you. Great to see you. The McLean sisters, Heather and Brittany from Toronto this morning.